Figure androids are preparing to replace humans in warehouses in mass. They have already learned how to autonomously carry boxes in warehouses. In China, an unmanned air cab has made its first intercity flight. Scientists have managed to create a technology that allows you to grow brain cells to order. The secrecy of the Neuralink chip has caused serious concern among scientists. Motorola has presented the latest phone of the future, which can be worn on the wrist. These and other high-tech news in one video. Android Figure has learned how to autonomously carry boxes in a warehouse. In a new video, it picks up boxes and carries them onto a conveyor belt. This is just the beginning. General-purpose humanoids are learning from such elementary tasks and will likely be able to perform many more tasks in the future, around the clock. Distracted only by recharging or changing batteries, this technology has huge potential, as evidenced by the investment. Figure has raised $675 million, and its investors include OpenAI, Microsoft, Amazon, and NVIDIA. Figure trains robots for new tasks through teleoperation and simulation. Their humanoids can analyze successful and unsuccessful steps in a task, deciding how to complete it autonomously and making corrections in real time. Early models of Figure 01 are slow and weak, but they have enough strength and dexterity in their arms and legs to get the job done. It's not the muscles that matter, but their intelligence. In the new video, Figure 01 walks over to stacked boxes, picks one up, then walks over to a conveyor belt and places the object on it. Figure and its competitors are beginning to test general-purpose robots in real-world work situations. Although these humanoids do primitive things, they may well start to pay off. Robots are capable of working around the clock, and they are a cheaper labor force than humans. Each new task, even the smallest, helps develop a larger pattern of behavior that will eventually include a wide range of tasks and physical capabilities. Androids learn in groups, so the progress of one means the progress of all. General-purpose robots can evolve at a pace comparable to the explosive growth of artificial intelligence. The potential for this technology to change society is enormous. Labor constraints in the economy could disappear, and productivity levels would increase dramatically. An unmanned air cab has made its first intercity flight in China. Autoflight, a leading developer of electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, has performed the world's first autonomous intercity flight by an electric air cab. The Prosperity EV Tall traveled 50 kilometers between the cities of Shenzhen and Zhuhai via the Pearl River Delta. The flight took only 20 minutes, while by land, the trip would have taken about three hours. The regional authorities intend to launch hundreds of air cab routes and thousands of vertiports. The Prosperity Air Cab is a small aircraft that can carry up to four passengers for a distance of 250 kilometers at a speed of 200 kilometers per hour. This EV Tall is equipped with 10 electric propeller motors used for vertical takeoff and landing. In horizontal flight mode, the AeroTaxi uses a tail electric propeller motor and wings. Autoflight intends to obtain a commercial flight permit for this aircraft by 2026. Autoflight was able to navigate through a complex and highly regulated airspace. A demonstration flight showed that the air cab can safely integrate into existing air traffic. The regional government plans to open thousands of Verdi ports and hundreds of EV tall air routes across the Greater Bay Area in southern China, including the route between Shenzhen and Zhuhai. Up to 300,000 flights per year are expected here alone. Low-altitude application scenarios include passenger transportation, tourism, logistics, and emergency services. Let's move on to other news. The secrecy of the Neuralink chip is seriously worrying scientists. A month ago, Elon Musk announced the implantation of the first chip in a patient as part of pilot clinical research, and last week he reported the first successes of the treatment. All the data is very sketchy and essentially only comes from the company's founder. Scientists cannot assess the actual efficiency and safety of the neuro implant due to the unexplained secrecy of the research. In addition, statements about the first successes of Neuralink have already been called doubtful. According to experts, even external devices are capable of such results. The first patient with a Neuralink chip is able to control a computer mouse with the power of thought. He can move the cursor on the screen, said a few days ago, the founder of Neuralink Elon Musk. The volunteer has already recovered with no apparent side effects from the surgery, he said. There are no other details about the progress of the study. The company's website has published only one brochure with general information, which doesn't even come close to meeting the scientific community's requirements for publishing clinical research data. In addition to the paucity of data, scientists are also criticizing the data, which Musk is blowing off. For now, however, researchers are more concerned about the safety of the treatment than its effectiveness. 
specifically the long-term effects of implanting and operating a wireless chip in the human body. Usually, data on the safety of any experimental treatment can be published at an interim stage, but at the end of the trial, the summarized results are always available as a report and published in scientific journals. It is doubtful that in the case of Neuralink we can count on such data. For example, that it is still unclear whether a robotic surgeon was used to insert the implant. The company published videos about it, but scientists still don't know how everything was realized, the experts commented. Now scientists want to find out if these features really do provide better signal quality and actual benefits for humans. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang said that in the near future, AI will take away programmers' jobs, and it is more promising to study to be an agriculturalist. Programming will soon cease to be an important skill. According to Huang, artificial intelligence will take over programming tasks, so it is more promising for young people to study biology or agriculture. And coding, if necessary, will be possible in natural language with the help of artificial intelligence. Soon it will be necessary only to clearly formulate the technical task in natural language for software development, and artificial intelligence will do the rest for the programmer. However, it is not that bad at the moment. In fact, the need for software developers is only growing. For example, after ChatGPT was released on the market, the number of vacancies in the field of programming increased by 6%. Motorola has shown its phone of the future, and in this future, the smartphone is worn on the wrist. It can be used as a regular smartphone with a touchscreen, but the device is offered to be worn on the hand as if it were a watch or a bracelet. The frame of the device bends and holds the shape chosen by the user. When the device is fully straightened, the diagonal of the pilot display with Full HD Plus resolution is 6.9 inches. In wristband mode, the screen becomes smaller than 4.6 inches, but it still responds to touches, displays notifications, and shows content. Scientists have managed to create a technology that allows growing brain cells to order. Recovery from brain injury or treatment of neurological lesions of the brain with the help of neural stem cells holds great promise. These cells can self-renew and differentiate into different types of specialized cells. For example, they can become neurons or glial cells. Meanwhile, stem cells need to be delivered to the tissue in a special environment that will ensure their survival and growth. In new research, scientists from Germany have developed a hydrogel environment that guides the differentiation of neural stem cells along a specific pathway. By manipulating the strength of the charge, the scientists created different types of environments. In the future, scientists added other factors to the new environments and increased the survival and division rate of the cells. For now, the scientists continue to refine their approach. In the future, they will test the new cell therapy on models of specific diseases. Chinese company Lenovo demonstrated a prototype laptop with a transparent display at the recently held MWC 2024 exhibition. Who would ever need a transparent screen? Only the Chinese would know. As Lenovo said, such a laptop may be useful for specialists in working with photos and graphics. An architect, having placed such a laptop in front of the landscape he is interested in, will be able to create a sketch of the future building without taking his eyes off the screen. But that's not all. It turns out that on the outside of the laptop cover is a camera that recognizes the objects behind him, and this allows, according to Lenovo, to work with augmented reality technologies. The prototype laptop does not have a physical keyboard. Instead, on a glass surface, displays a virtual keyboard, which turns off automatically when the user moves away from the computer. This surface can be used to draw and doodle with the included stylus. Write in the comments what you liked most after watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.